In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do really super easy beach waves, even if you have fine hair. I get a ton of questions about how I do my hair like this every day, and I'm telling you the truth, it takes probably five minutes, one of the few times in life that having fine hair is actually an advantage, but let me tell you, this is quick and easy and anybody can do it. The first thing you wanna do is protect your hair from the heat that the iron actually puts onto it. Lately, I've been using this product from Matrix. It's called Heat Buffer, and it's a thermal styling spray. And what's great about it is you can use it on dry or damp hair. So you can use it before you blow dry or before flat iron or curling iron. So just give a few quick spritzes. And don't make it too wet, but just a few. Second step, separate your hair. Now, the great thing about having fine hair is that the separation part, you don't need, I mean, you might need clips, but I don't need clips. I usually just go like this, separate it front to back. Pull it like that, and then I individually grab each section with my hands. If you need clips, great, but not necessary when you have fine hair. After that, you just grab the first piece. I like to start with my like little side swept bang just because it's easier. And with the bang, just because this part of your head tends to be kind of the most fried from heat damage, do not hold the iron on this part for too long because it will fry you up. So take that, and then I put it like this. I hold it for probably one, two, three, and then I release. And you can play with it. I kind of like the way this side sweeps, but obviously once it's done, you can kind of zhuzh it a little bit and make it how you like it. Next step, I like to start with my front piece. And the key to this, because my ends are a little bit fried right now, and to get that really like sort of soft beachy wave, you want to start here and then draw in the iron. So I'll show you. Go like that, and then I turn it. I kind of use my thumb to open it up. I don't go all the way to the end. Go like that, hold it for a few seconds, and then when you release it, you wanna release it straight down like that. As you can see, the end is not quite curled, and that was intentional, which you'll see at the end of the video why I did that. After I do the front piece, I like to do the back, and the reason for that is because that way the back is curled and it's not getting flattened by any other curls that I do. You wanna retain all the volume you can when you have fine hair. So I take a piece like this, and do the same thing. You wanna put it in the middle, turn it, open up the clamp. Don't go all the way to the end. Go like that, hold it for a few seconds. And when you release it, you wanna go straight down like that. And it looks a little funky, but I promise that once you kinda of like fluff it and everything, it looks a lot better. And you wanna keep doing that. So you'll do this side, this side, the back, and then I'll show you how to do the middle pieces. So once you have the two back pieces and the two front pieces done, you wanna do this section right here. And my trick for that, depending on how much hair you actually have, you wanna divide it up so that it's fairly small. So I take this and then I literally just cut this in half. It doesn't seem like a lot of hair, but you get more beach wave that way. Um, and when you have fine hair, you kind of have to make it work, right? So once you have all the curls like this, I know it looks a little bit crazy, you wanna let make sure that it actually cools off. So right now my hair is still a little bit hot to the touch. You don't wanna mess with it until it's fully cooled. Once it is, you can kind of like use your fingers to kind of like judge it out and pull it out and then give it a little spray of hairspray and you're good to go. And that's it. One of the highlights I would say probably of having finer thin hair is that you can do a beachy soft wave look in probably about five minutes time once you get the hang of it. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and I will see you soon.